Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome back to Captain Spirit Part 2 continuing from where we left off. We're going to carry on exploring as much as we can and obviously start trying to do some of this on our Captain Spirit checklist as well. So let's continue looking around this room. Bugs Motel. Come on, let's crawl. Gotta crawl, gotta crawl at the ugly bug ball. To the ball, to the ball. <laughs> Hey, Spider Baby, I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast, he's in one place. <laughs> that's kind of gross, actually, but that's such like a little boy thing to do. That said, I was quite a horrible child. I used to collect butterflies, caterpillars, and bees and put them in little boxes and stuff, so yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm not one to judge. <laughs> This is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Yeah, yeah. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. Although, hot take, I actually think Frozen isn't that good of a movie. <laughs> There's other ones that I prefer way more. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. I felt like the trailer for Frozen was very misleading, like... It made it seem as if the movie was going to be more about Elsa, but it wasn't. It was more about the sister than it was about Elsa and her powers. Or at least I felt that way anyway. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. I almost wanted to treehouse. Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a snowmancer sneak attack. I sharp. Keep me posted. That's right. Yes, sir. Roger that. Villains will sneak up during a storm. You've got to be Sky careful. Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, snowmancer. I've got my eye on you, snowmancer. I've got my eye on you. Favorite book. I've read this one so many times. Where the Strange Things Went, Story and Pictures by Ethan E. Ellie. I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'm suffering from hay fever at the moment. I have took some medication, but I do get the odd sneeze every now and then. Because I have the window open since it's so hot in my room when I'm recording. Chris, thanks for letting me read this. Now it's my turn to give you a book to read. Your pal, Hal. Thanks, Hal. Hal is a ledge. I can't wait to go back inside the Flying Fortress. It's probably where we should try and head next then after we've finished exploring Chris's room. So we've got a cigarette at the moment. I wonder what other things we can collect in this game. Captain Spear doesn't need weapons, but just in case. <laughs> so this is the weapons box. We've got a scythe, we've got what looks like uh, some fake guns there, and we've also got a guitar. Hey, music is the best weapon. <laughs> right, Power Bear and Noctarius, is that? Are you ready for the ultimate battle of good versus evil? Hell yeah, let's play. You can't win this battle, Nocturne. I love that bear. He's already over, Power Bear. <laughs> Don't let Mantroid control you. Nobody controls me. Mantroid is my leader, and he wants you to die. <laughs> so I'm going to kill you without now. asking any questions. We don't have to fight. Boss of me, power bear. You're not the boss of me now. Why, Mandroid? Join our team. Join our team. Let's see if we can vote him. Powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit. Are you serious? He's my enemy. Only because Mandroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar. Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mandroid saved my life? Huh? Good guy. I'm sorry, shut up. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, Noctarius. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. Damn it! I was hoping to come back. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Noctarius is dead! Oh, my back! Oh, no. How? <laughs> How did you do this? I can't move! Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit, please come to my aid. I can't defeat Noctarius on my own. I can't! Captain Spirit! Release him, destroy him. No, um, I don't want to kill. I'm going to release. Release some power bear. Oh yeah, Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. It is. Me and Droid will get his revenge for me. <laughs> Thank you for keeping me for from me. the dark side, Captain. Real superheroes don't kill villains. Or at least, that's what I think, anyway. Sometimes you have no choice, though. But we're a kid! It's fine. We make the rules. <laughs> Man, I wanted to go to that. But Dad had to watch the playoffs. Super Comic Store, toys, comics, and gaming sale off 10 to 50%. Oh, that sucks. That would have been ace as well. Watch out, supervillains. Today I make my own superhero costume. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. I can't even remember on the last episode what things I looked at and what I didn't, so. Sorry, you're too cute to fight evil. Hey. It's always the cute ones that are the real supervillains. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. Throw. Oh, throw the basketball. Throw it in the hoop. Oh, well, that was rubbish. Your ball. <laughs> you asked Dad to show me again. That was absolutely poor, Chris. Absolutely poor. The Shark Stinger play. Let's have a look. Ooh, the Shark Stinger is looking for victims. Look out! Here comes the evil car! Ah! No! Oh. That pedestrian better get out of the way. Do nothing, intervene. Intervene? <laughs> Save the pedestrian! Yeah. That was your last ride, Shark Stinger. Yes, Captain Spirit saved us! You'll never run over anybody again. Ha ha! Victory! Okay, I think that's everything in the room, guys. Um, so, we've been in the bathroom. We've been over there. We've been around the kitchen. So, can we go out now? We don't have a, um, a mask yet, though. I think I'm missing some stuff from the costume. Might be able to finish it by going to the tree house or something. Maybe. This is amazing! I would love this as a kid. Heck, I love snow as an adult, let alone a kid. Like, I love the feeling of fresh snow beneath my feet. Yeah, so we're missing a mask from the costume. I guess we can just fully explore the garden.
junk pile. Enter. Oh, sweet! There's a secret base in the junk. Although, I don't think this is that safe. I mean, it looks kind of sharp. Looks like he could cut himself on this. This is scary. <laughs> scary but cool at the same time. Oh my god, he's made like a proper little... Little passageway amongst all this junk. This is go right, go left, leave. Um, I put my right foot first and I tend to turn right if I don't know where I'm going, so I'm going right. Right is always the right way. <laughs> At least, I don't know. I'm just guessing. Maybe I should go left this time because otherwise I'll end up going in a circle. Go left. Does this actually lead somewhere or what? <laughs> it's kind of ominous. Go left, leave, go right. I'm actually beginning to think that it doesn't lead anywhere, that it's just like a mini maze, so I'm going to leave now. Leave. It doesn't look that big on the outside, but Looks can be deceiving, I guess. I mean, look at it. <laughs> how, how are there that many turns in there? <laughs> it doesn't look that big on the outside. That's what she said. Is there a way to run in this game? Oh! Right, so R2 is run. Oh, look! It's the evil snowman! Rebuild. Oh, Snowmancer. This is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? Looking very sorry for himself. Have your other eye back. On your arm back. Once again, a superhero. Is nothing without a supervillain enemy. The supervillain nemesis keeps the superhero in check. Blow up. Here we go. Superpowers to the max. <laughs> it's like a standoff in a western movie or something. <laughs> yes. Is that it? Look. Now the snowmancer is ready for battle. He's lost his eye again. Can I not give him his eye back? I feel bad. <laughs> I genuinely feel bad. <laughs> Swing. Can't really swing on that. Dad won't fix the swing because it's too dangerous to fix. Oh, come on. It's attached to a big sturdy tree. It doesn't look... Even if it fell from there, like, you're not going to seriously hurt yourself, I don't think. Especially in the snow, because it's quite soft to land on. I've fallen off a swing, and I've fallen off a swing at full height onto, uh, basically, um, I don't kind of like tarmac, but it was quite soft because it was in, like, a, you know, kid's playground. And I didn't get hurt. <laughs> Sky Pirate, check. Sky Pirate, what's the situation since your last report? Did the storm cause any damage? No, Captain. The magnetic field protected us from any harm. We're lucky to have you. Keep up your good work. <laughs> oh, he's, he's quite inventive, actually, because he's really customised this teddy bear. It's awesome. He's put on some foil to give him, like... Is that a hook? Yeah, a hook! 
He's just wrapped some foil around the teddy bear's arm to give him a hook hand, so that's awesome. I can't let Dad find my secret stash. Ever. Okay, what's in there? I'm curious now. What's in the secret stash? <laughs> Open sesame. <laughs> Maybe it's stuff about the mom. Secret decoder. Maybe I can use this to read the map. Right, okay. I really hope that that's not a puzzle because I suck at puzzles. School letters. Harry did say mean things about dad, but I can't let him see this. Dear Mr. Erickson, I wanted to let you know that your son Chris got into a small fight with my son Harry Sorber and his friends after school this week. Chris claims that they were saying inappropriate things about you, but Harry is not that kind of child and only knows you through me. As you might know, Harry is an honor student and a decorated boy scout. Yeah, it doesn't mean he can't be a dick. <laughs> Maybe you should talk to Chris about his behavior. If this bullying continues, I'll be forced to speak to his school. Sincerely, Mr. Brett Sorber. Oh my god. Our boy could never be a bully. He's an honor student. Come on now. Did you seriously just ask your son if he bullied someone and then take his answer as gospel? Seriously? This is my worst report card. I'm doing better now. Okay, so math B minus, that's decent. Physical education D, English C, history C plus, elective R A. That's not that bad. Really? I mean a D, you know, that needs to be a C. You know, but it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Baseball cards. These are my favorite baseball players. Even if I don't understand the stats. Noah Raymond, John McClanathan, Scott Cicero. I wonder if they are real players, guys. Let me know. I loved watching Mom draw her comics. Right, so his mom was an artist. What are you cooking me, my sweet Valentine? Your favorite dish? Pizza! Happy Valentine's Day, sweetheart. <laughs> Aww. Okay, so there's quite a few things in here, so let's have a look. Light cigarette, old bowl. Oh. So does that mean set the bowl ablaze or not? I don't know. Well, I'll come back Maybe to that and decide what I want to do. British. That's Noctarius' son. He looks like his dad. Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? She's the ice queen. Yeah, so what? So what? Exactly, that's how I feel. Why wasn't I allowed to play with Lego and cars? That's for boys. So, so what? Okay, right. So, let's go on lookout. I mean, Chris has so much imagination. It's great. And it needs to be nurtured. I said that weird. Nurtured. There we go. Nurtured. Nurtured. <laughs> right. So there would have been some licensed music playing here, guys. I don't think it's a good idea to use the... Use fire in a treehouse. <laughs> well, let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. Let's be a bit of a bird boy. Oh, shh. All oh, right, okay. That's fine. It's imaginary. He hasn't Whoa, actually... Like Dad. 
Oh, shh. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> I've made a ten-year-old boy try a cigarette. I'm so bad. Oh, man. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I might... Actually, this could be a good thing. I might have scored him up for life so that he never, ever tries a cigarette again in his life. So, <laughs> I mean, that's what my dad did with me with alcohol. I can't remember how old I was, but he gave me... Well, he told me, this is really nice, Kylie. Take a big swig. And it was like whiskey, really strong whiskey. And I took, being the trusting daughter that I was, I trusted my father and took a big swig and just spat it all out. And since then, I've pretty much never liked alcohol. It's only, huh. I would say, the in the last... The have no idea Captain Spirit is watching over them. In the last year and a half that I've started drinking wine on occasion and that's it. Like, I don't drink otherwise. Don't drink hot drinks, don't drink fizzy drinks, don't drink alcohol really. Don't drink energy drinks. So I don't like tea or coffee guys. Uh, right, let's go down the ladder. I think we're done in here. I can't believe I just made Chris smoke. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. Whoopsie. I feel awful right now. Okay, let's continue looking around the garden and see what is available. So there's a little shed, I guess, over there. Can we open it? Seek the magic key to unlock the portal to another dimension. Oh, we need the key. Maybe it's in the car. I can't go anywhere without the keys. Right, okay. So we need the key for the garage and the key for the car. I haven't actually seen the keys hanging anywhere. It's not safe out there. Yeah, Dad. I know. Can't go that way. Probably because the snow is too thick. Shovel. Oh, clear the snow. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I thought it meant for the other door. Mind you, it just leads, it doesn't lead to anywhere different, it just leads back inside. Into the uh, utility room. Extra bonus points on what? <laughs> Level up, kitchen. So is that really everything in the garden? Is there any letters, actually? Oh, hello. No way. For family fun, come play with your gun. Oh my god, really? Clean Harry's gun, range, holiday sale and show. December 20th to 21st, all day Saturday, Sunday. tree carving. Hmm. Maybe the kids who lived here before didn't like it. What does it say? Hmm. Maybe the kids who lived here before oh, didn't like Beaver it. Oh, Beaver Creek sucks. Okay. Right. Still need the rest of the costume as well. And I can't defeat um, Snowmancer until I get the whole costume, so I am missing the mask. I guess go back inside. Was this an avalanche? No, the ice giants are nearby. Oh, he's a good boy. He's clearing his shoes before coming in from the snow. 
Right, he's fallen asleep. He said he wasn't going to fall asleep after the game, but he has. Right, where would the keys be? If I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. Dad was so popular. That's probably changed now. I mean, that's definitely one thing when you become a horrible drunk is people don't want to be around you. Dad never smiles like that anymore. Championship winner 2005. Wake up. Right, he did say wake him up. Is there anything over here that we can use as a mask? Right, before I wake up dad, um, I'm going to continue to have a look around. Oops. Oh, hang on. Oh, look. Oh, sweet. Didn't notice that before. I can't interact with uh, the clothes or anything. See, I don't know what the code is for the cell phone to play the hot dog game. Where would the keys be? Dinosaur toy. Dinosaur land is open for business. Eat everybody. I am more T-Rex, and you are my lunch. <laughs> I just literally watched the, the new Jurassic Park World movie as well. Oh, I like. Yay, we completed one. Whoa, now that is an epic super battle. Sweet, okay, we completed something at least. <laughs> Oh, hello. Car keys! Yes! We got the car keys, guys. We can go in the car now. Which I think I should do before waking up Dad. Whiskey bottle. Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? Okay, so we got the car keys. I think it's time to go back outside, guys. And go check out the car. They were quite well hidden, those keys, actually. Right, look. I wonder if Dad will teach me how to drive. When he's not drunk. <laughs> Power drive! I can't go to Mantroid's planet without finishing my costume. Oh no! <gasps> Ooh, hello. I hope Dad doesn't get in trouble because of me. BCSS, Beaver Creek Social Services. Dear Mr. Erickson, this is Dr. Tamra Falman of Beaver Creek Social Services, BCSS. As a representative of the country's elementary school district, we would appreciate if you could arrange to come in with your son, Chris Erickson, for a meeting on Monday afternoon at 2.15pm at our local office at 2775 Water Street. If you have any questions, please call our office. Sincerely, Tamara Fullman. Right, okay. So this will be because they've noticed the bruise on Chris's arm then. And they're concerned about that and they want to question him about that. Where can I get this mask from? 
Dude, the freaking key should be inside the house. I don't know where though. Maybe in the dad's room. Maybe I've missed a key in the dad's room somewhere. Perhaps. Just seeing if there's anything on here hanging that I could use as a mask. But no. Um, let's just go back into my room and have another look around. See if there's anything that can be used as a mask. Comic box, DVDs, wardrobe, close the wardrobe. Nothing else in here that can be used. Let's go back in the bathroom. Can't be used. Razor, no. Comic, irrelevant. Nothing in there. Let's have another look in the dad's room. This time we're looking for keys and we're looking for something that can be used as a mask. Just carefully look around as much as we can. Light on. had a look in there already oh magazine hello they're naked oh porn <laughs> we found the porn guys <laughs> butts and boobs Oregon's best boobs crystal brown's new shoe okay we found the porn <laughs> oops that's not what we were looking for <laughs> it's the key to something but it's not the key to the garage <laughs> Did we miss something in the wardrobe? Console, basketball, case, letter. Nope, that's it. Where the hell are these keys then? Seriously? And what the heck can I use as a mask? Maybe I should just wake the dad if I'm not sure what else to do. Yeah. Cycle bin. Normally there's some kind of key holder or that's like a, a bowl of keys or a key hook with the keys on in most houses. There's no such thing here. Oh! Garage key! Mine. Got it! Nice! I got it guys. Okay, right. Before we wake Dad. Let's go to the garage. We got there in the end. It wasn't a wasted trip. We found the pawn and we got the key. <laughs> Not that pawn means anything to a ten-year-old boy, but there we go. Maybe we can find something for the mask inside the garage. Oh my god, this is scary. Huh? Oh! What made that noise? Sounded like a raccoon. Barely see. Light switch. Let there be lights. There's a creature in here. Combination lock. Oh god. Well, I don't know what the code is for that. Spray paint. Ooh, I can even paint my costume once I make it. Dad never threw away mom's hiking boots. Good. Old box. This is where mom went to school before we came here. 
Dear Mrs. Emily Erickson, as principal of Blackwell Academy, nod to Life is Strange, I wanted to personally reach out and thank you for your continued support of our art programme to our prestigious school. We love displaying your work along with the long list of other alumni. We all have fond memories of you here, so thank you for thinking of us and we hope you'll come to visit the campus soon and see how your contribution keeps our dream alive. Principal Ray Wells, Blackwell Academy, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Best wishes, Wells. I'm going to go to art school because of me, but she was already an amazing artist. September 15th, 2006. Dear Emily, we received your letter of withdrawal and registration and first wanted to congratulate you on your forthcoming child. Well, yeah, forthcoming child. While we are truly happy for you and your family, we are also selfishly sorry to lose one of our most promising students and artists. Your unique and witty illustrations have been well received on campus and in the school paper, so we accept to expect to see more of your work with us and others. Hopefully, when you're ready, you'll consider coming back to Eugene State to finish your art degree and further inspire us. If you have any questions, please contact us on any time. Right, okay. So she was pregnant and obviously she decided to leave and uh, put her studies on hold indefinitely. Oh, wow. I remember when mom drew that. And Dad couldn't stop laughing. Good night. Good night, handsome. Honey, you got a cold again. I told you to eat more fruits. <laughs> I don't get this one. I'm too young. Isn't it your turn, Mr. Officer? What's up, buddy? <laughs> Binder. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. Neighborhood Watch, The Jock and the Artist, Emily Wyatt and Charles Erickson, Eugene State College, 2005, not 2015, bloody hell, dyslexia. Never judge two books by their covers is the motto of this odd couple from Eugene, each of whom is making local waves in their respective fields and why we're showcasing them in this week's Neighborhood Watch. Emily Wyatt is a cartoonist whose witty work about her strange life has been featured in print and the web. Even in the pages of this paper, she hates all sports. By her own claims, yet yeah, is engaged to Charles Erickson, a local basketball star who some say is headed to the Oregon Ducks. Ironically, they met at the library and found true love among the book stacks while helping each other study for their torturous finals. I'm math and she's art, says a shy, blushing Charles, clearly a man in love which are actually the same thing from opposite sides, adds Emily with a warm smile taking her new fiancé's hand. Aww. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, but fun. We love you, Miss Erickson, Emma, Chris, I love you, Mom, Ethan, Isabella, Gavin, Sophia, Logan, Hal, Olivia. My first picture looks so tiny. <laughs> alien baby! Alien baby. Coming soon. Okay, so is that it? Nothing to make the mask in here. Really? Really? Was this an avalanche? No, the ice giants are nearby. I don't see anything else in here. At least I know that I can come in here and spray the costume if I want later when I've finished it. I don't know what the code is for this. <laughs> At all. I guess it's time to go and wake up Dad. I can't think of anything else, guys.
Alright, so before I wake up Dad, I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here, guys. And obviously on the next episode, we shall wake up Dad. Who knows, maybe we will find something to have as a mask. And then we can take on uh, this one here, which is Snowmancer. And destroy Snowmancer. And also we can't actually go in the car until we have the complete costume as well so we do need to finish that at some point but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this episode don't forget to like comment favorite share and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already as always i look forward to reading and replying to your comments down below thank you so much take it easy and i shall see you next time guys Bye bye